What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Trials of Osiris Awards from last week on all three of my characters. Last week's Trials map was Rusted Lands and it's pretty interesting how Bungie's bringing back some of these year one maps for year two of Trials of Osiris. So it's pretty cool to see some of these old maps make a return. For Rusted Lands, I didn't care for it as the Trials map last week. I thought it was kind of weird the way it played out, especially because the B flag or the overtime flag is uh, kind of favored for the side that spawns near C flag for control. So it was a little bit more harder for the team that spawns on the A side or the top side of the map to kind of move toward the flag if the team just plays really passive. So it was pretty interesting. I didn't really care for it as much as like Firebase the previous week. But it was still a pretty good week. I was able to get some flawless lighthouse rewards and stuff. So pretty good stuff. And let's get into my rewards from last week. So starting off on my first character on my hunter from the lighthouse chest. We were able to get ourselves a inward lamp adept and four motes of light. And my inward lamp, the scout rifle came in at 313. So... Not the greatest value, but it was still pretty decent. The Inward Lamp actually tried it out recently, and it's a pretty solid scout rifle for PvP. I think it's a really good one, especially because it comes with full auto on it, so it makes it even faster. It's a very high fire rate scout rifle, so I like it a lot. And then moving on to the bounties for trials. For the first four packages, we got the usual legendary marks, motes of light, and passage coins. For my silver tier, I was unlucky and didn't get any exotics in it and for my gold tier we got a burning eye mask helmet for my hunter. It came with intellect discipline and it came with some pretty good perks angel of mercy ashes to assets and it was 306 so not bad I kind of like that one it was a pretty decent roll on a helmet so I'm probably going to keep that one and try level it up. Then moving on to my next character on my titan from the lighthouse chest. We were able to get ourselves a Hereafter Exotic Sniper Rifle and the Doctrine of Passing Auto Rifle. And it came in at 317, so that was pretty good. I finally got a higher level weapon from the Lighthouse Chest that I can use to infuse into something if I need it. So that was a pretty good drop for me there. And then going into my Trials Bounties for my Titan, we were able to get Passage Coins, Motes of Light, and Legendary Marks for my first four. For the silver tier, we got no exotics once again. And for the gold tier, we got the Wings of Apris Full Artifact. So I actually got that one from week one in my gold tier. And mine came in at 310 from the previous time. And uh, this one was only 300. So that was kind of a bummer there. Finally, on my last lighthouse chest for my Warlock, we were able to get ourselves another Inward Lamp Adept and six motes of light. And this one came in at 311. So kind of a bummer, a little bit lower than my previous one and at least I got a 317 out of one of my lighthouse chests so that was not bad for the week. And then finishing it off with my trials bounties for my warlock for the first four the usual passage coins and motes of light and legendary marks and for silver tier we got unlucky again and we got no exotic and for the gold tier we got another unseeing eye machine gun. This is actually a really solid machine gun I tried it out in crucible it's pretty good. So if you guys get one and try it out, it's pretty decent, has some solid stats on it. So pretty unlucky on my silver tiers, no exotics there. At least we got a 317 for the week. That's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!